Welcome to my video walkthrough for how to defeat the Eater of Worlds. The Eater of Worlds is one of the bosses you can fight in Terraria, and before you even begin fighting him, I would suggest you have the armor I'm wearing, which is Shadow Armor, and it is made using and it is made using <clears throat> Demonite ores and Shadow Scales. This, unfortunately, this requires you to defeat the Eater of Worlds, so before you have the Shadow Armor, try to have at least full silver or gold armor. Also, you want to make sure you have as many healing potions as possible. Not the, not the lesser healing potions that only restore 100 health, but the healing potions that restore 200 health. In order to make them, you require... Two lesser healing potions and a glowing mushroom which are found deep underground. I would also recommend you have at least the demonite sword called Light uh, Light's Bane, I think. I don't know because I haven't used it. Um, and you also need to have worm food which is made using 30 vile powders which is made from vile mushrooms and 15 rotten chunks which are found by killing Eater of Souls. Now, we're gonna begin the battle. To use it, just left click on the worm food and the battle will begin. Eater of Worlds does, um, his head does 30, uh, up to 32 damage depending upon the armor you have. What you wanna do is you wanna target, once you summon him, you wanna target his body and just swing away with your strongest sword. Trying to avoid getting hit by the by the uh, heads, because the heads do the most damage. Whenever heal, whenever necessary. I usually heal whenever I'm down by 200 health, from 400 down to 200. Another thing you want is you only only want to fight him when you have the maximum amount of health, 400. Otherwise, he can really fuck you up. To put it bluntly. You see, even 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 when I face him, I take quite a lot of damage. Of course, this may seem like I'm doing really, I'm making it. It might be really easy, and that's but that's only because of the level of my gear. I'm using Muramasa, which is found in dungeons later on, and I'm also using full shadow mail, uh, full shadow armor, which increases your mail maximum melee speed by 15%. Basically, to defeat him, you just want to keep on targeting any part, any body parts until all of them are gone. That's pretty much how you defeat him. Again, keep on healing as necessary. You will need it. You will need to heal during this battle. I mean, a lot. I use, on average, 5 to 10 healing potions per battle. And there you go. That's how you defeat him. Once you defeat him, he drops a lot of those recovery hearts, which heal 20 health. And he drops a lot of demonite ore and shadow scales. And he also drops a piece of the shadow armor that I'm wearing. I've, I've, pre I've previously fought him twice um, before recording this movie. I actually recorded this movie already, but something happened and um, it wouldn't let me uh, save the recording. So I had to re-record and hopefully I won't need to do this again. If I do, then it's pretty much um, not. I'm not gonna re, re I'm not gonna record it again. Anyways, that's pretty. That's pretty much how you defeat him. And as you can see, he drops a lot of goodies for you. Shadow scale. Like I said, he drops shadow scales. He drops pieces of uh, demonite. Pieces of the demonite armor called the shadow armor. And he drops a lot of lesser healing potions as well. And this is my guide to defeating the Eater of Worlds. I hope this has helped you, and I hope all of your days shine brightly. Thank you, and this has been Razor Flame Coon, signing out.